Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Volca, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for June 2022, darling, okay? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how, darling, because that's how I keep up with you is through the comments, honey, okay? Um, as well, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, uh, Capricorn, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. That's how you get a better read when it comes to uh, consuming tarot readings on YouTube or wherever you you consume your readings is by catering the energy to your chart all right capricorn and then darling be sure to give this video a like and subscribe darling join the family it's completely free honey so why wouldn't you all right so let's see what's going on with you right now capricorn all right we have the king of swords coming in the three of cups and then the three of wands coming in here huh Capricorn, I see for you guys, there's going to be some distance being closed off from a situation that you are currently distant to right now. This gives me like a sense of where maybe you haven't been talking to like a friend or like a family member for a little bit here. Uh, maybe there's like a little bit of a misunderstanding, like because uh, I get this sense here with this King of Swords excuse me capricorn where it's like for the this king of swords represents to me the sense of like maturity the sense of where having a better understanding of what went on and is going on in a situation and then when you have the three of cups here with the three of wands here this leads me to believe it's like someone had someone matured essentially here all right someone grew up a little bit and now they're coming back in and within in this place of uh wanting to reconnect wanting to um i don't want to say pick up where things were last left off here but starting to it's the sense of where wanting to um get back into your good graces here wanting to enjoy each other's time again rather than always having conflict or butting heads you know that's how i see this as back of the deck energy here is the ten of cups darling come on now so yes this is absolutely the sense of where if you are not communicating right now capricorn when it comes to a best friend when it comes to a lover when it comes to a family member here right now capricorn like don't try to push it you know if they're distancing right now don't don't send them a bunch of messages honey if you already sent the messages that's okay capricorn or right? you're human but just don't be trying to push the narrative anymore all right because they need to you know it's like the king of swords only gets the mental clarity that they have that maturity that they have by being by themselves all right but the king of swords does not really do well when it comes to direct engagement when it comes to um figuring out the problem figuring out or talking things over head on all right and so i feel like for some of you capricorns you might be perceiving this in a way of being like oh well they're just choosing to give up on this or whatever you know whatever the case is because they are just you know you might be the type of person capricorn that wants to be more confrontational and just talk things over in the moment but for them they need to sit with it they need to evaluate things here all right so i feel i really do feel as if the distance is the necessary part and then let them come back to you here because once I have that better understanding here, I mean, this is really nothing but positive energy here. All right, let's complement this with another card here. Yeah, this is in the sense of like, let's not pick up where we last left off, darling. Let's look at where we current we were last at and let's figure out and start a conversation on where we can grow from here right you have that eight of you have this eight of pentacles here where it's just this gives me very much so the sense capricorn it's like it's through the conflict right while yeah there might have been some hurt feelings and you know whatever was said what have you but it's like should should the should y'all both allow this to happen this conflict or this distance that has happened between the two of you capricorn can actually bring you guys so much closer together here because then it puts this person in this place of being like all right like i you know they need this, this time to themselves they realize what what it is that they went wrong where it is that they could improve and then they're actually going to be about the action here capricorn i feel as if for you this is like finally like breaking a pattern for them where it's just like because they're smart individuals here. This is, seems to be at a place where it's just like there's love clearly here. Y'all do clearly care about one another here, Capricorn. But it's this sense for them where it's like just action never happened. It was almost as if the sense of like the conflict needed to happen to give that wake up call. So then change can finally come in after that fact. You know what I mean? So let's continue on here. <clears throat> 
we have here the eight of wands the judgment energy as well as the seven of swords here so what i feel like was going on for them personally here capricorn is like they ended up they were in this place capricorn of really sabotaging a lot in their life here it's almost as if through whatever happens between the two of y'all capricorn like that woke them up to where it is they were always constantly personally self-sabotaging things that were going on for them so it's almost as if for you capricorn you ended up being an extremely positive learning experience for them here all right i get for them here capricorn it's the sense of where realizing where people were sabotaging things and also on your end as well, Capricorn, let's also clock you a little bit here. You might be from a place, Capricorn, of where you're just so used to like taking things on by yourself. So like when they start distancing themselves, your abandonment issues, if you have like abandonment issues, darling, right? Not everyone has that. Um, like your own, it's almost as if like for you, Capricorn, like I feel as if some of you guys responded too passively about the situation being like, all right, well, since they're leaving, like bye right you went from one extreme to the other being like all right if they don't care then i don't care and matter of fact they're just dead to me right like you it's like they cease to exist for you anymore capricorn and i feel like for you this is going to be a very learning big learning opportunity for you and realizing that the people that are meant to be part of your life the people that are going to fight for you are going to always be around because you might have always been used to capricorn being around people that would always just like leave at the first sign of like discomfort for them for them or like you might just yeah just i feel like you just are so used to dealing with such flighty people um capricorn that it kind of catches you off guard when this person ends up coming back into your life and then instead of like holding grudges or being immature about it they're just in this place of being like all right like that situation happened let's grow from that and make sure that never happens again right and so um I think it's going to really catch you off guard here, Capricorn, because I feel like the thing that you're going to have to hold yourself accountable for is um, picking up, like allowing this person, allowing this energy to come back in from a changed place. All right. Some of you guys might be failing to be a little bit open minded with this energy because you're just so used to a certain type of person. Right, and I'm not being dismissive towards you about it, Capricorn. Like I understand it, right? Like nine times, nine point nine out of times out of ten, honey, Capricorn. Most people are just so flighty. It, it just isn't like I understand it from a personal level. I really do. Magician energy, page of swords, and the star energy here. Star energy really confirming this to me as well. Like you are just so used to a certain type of person, but you also have to realize here, Capricorn, that it's just like the people that you have in your life they're in your life for a reason now all right they're not going to just give up at the first sign of rough communication here all right this person's meant to be part of your life story for quite a long time here that's why i get the significance where it's just like either their family either this is like a loved one like this is just like a loved one that you will not give up on most of the time like you have a history with this person here and so this is going to be a big learning experience for you that there are people in your life that are here to stay all right. And while as, as hard as that might be to accept here, Capricorn, because of just everything that you're just so used to when it comes to people like for you, it's going to be a learning experience to take someone back on, trust them enough and then allow things to develop past that point for you, Capricorn. All right. Because it's like that's what I realize is going to be happening for you, Capricorn. You're going to realize like how people are treating you now is not how is not like in the same way that people used to treat you like 10 years ago 20 years ago capricorn all right um not everyone is always out to try to find like one single thing to like find like no one not everyone's out to try to find one little mistake or find something wrong with you capricorn and leave at the first sight right this i really do get for you capricorn that this like this energy is here to stay for you all right you have the lover's energy the tower energy with the two of wands coming in here i mean i mean this is literally y'all's life in a nutshell right here these three cards here capricorn is the is this nutshell all right you take you look at this lovers and literally if you look at this uh capricorn here all right you look at this lovers here and you look at the tower energy right you let's flip this over here like tower moment happens so it actually brings y'all two closer together here right but it's just like y'all literally are like this is like two in the same 
So anyways, as I was saying here, Capricorn, right? You take the lovers here, all right? Y'all have a tower. Y'all have that tower moment that was going to happen anyways because changes needed to happen, perspectives needed to be heard, whatever happened, whatever, 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 all right? And then you have this two of wands here. The two of wands is remem uh, both of you guys reminding each other and remembering yourself of the, this this connection here is for the long call. So even though you have that tower moment that was really rough, you still get back up and you still remember the whole per like the purpose of why it is that y'all love each other in the first place and think far out in the future here all right this can this distance here is not going to separate you guys if anything it's going to bring you guys closer together you know with that two of wands here and then the eight of pentacles it gives me very much so like in a romantic relationship where it's just like maybe Capricorn is just like you know someone that never showed some some level of commitment to you beforehand have that fight they come back and not only do they show you that they are serious about this they take it to that next level they take it to that that next step so like an engagement or whatever I'm not saying you're gonna get it gonna going to get engaged I'm just trying to use analogies to express how this energy would be uh translated for life situations or at least how i see it anyways capricorn but uh yeah darling that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you capricorn hopefully some of these tarot cards did resonate with you darling and i hope you feel better about this situation that you're currently going through when it comes to this person darling all right but um i love you so much let me know how this tarot reading resonated be sure to give this video a like and subscribe capricorn because again you already know it's free darling okay if you want to book a private reading with me capricorn my website's linked down below simply velka dot com next to my webs uh next to uh my social medias rather <laughs> tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here honey but um i love you so much capricorn and i'll connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling